Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. We're in Job chapter 23 today, and this, the thing that I read here, there's a very, very common uh, common problem addressed in this very chapter. Um, I think pretty much, I dare say any person, not just Christians, but any person who believes in God has struggled with this particular problem. And by the way, I didn't upload yesterday, I apologize for that. Um... The completely honest truth is, at the end of recording a bunch of Dark Souls last night with my friend Robbie, because of the amount of drinks that I had, they were some uh, Mike's Harder drinks, had three of them back to back, and it, I think, I to be honest, I think I was a little bit beyond tipsy. So, I was just like, I, I really can't upload anything tonight. I'm just really, I'm just, I'm tired, I'm wiped out. Um... Lost the motor control, and I was like, nope, I will just publish two videos tomorrow. So, being completely open and honest with you guys about that. By the way, actually, because it went so far, I actually repented of that. That went too far. So, don't plan on doing that again anytime soon. Anyway, Job chapter 23. We're gonna, I'm going to do verse 3, and then I'm going to skip down to verse 8. This is Job speaking. He says, Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come to his seat. Sound, sound familiar? Sound familiar with the struggle that pretty much every human being who believes in God has trying to find him? Jump down to verse 8. Look, I go forward, but he is not there, and backward, but I cannot perceive him. When he works on the left hand, I cannot behold him. When he turns to the right hand, I cannot see him. But he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. My foot has held fast to his steps. I have kept his way and not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandment of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. So there's actually the conundrum and the answer within those verses. The conundrum is how to find God. How do you find the invisible God of the universe? That's that's a bit of a tricky thing for us, you know, uh, fleshy humans who are very much so in the here and now and very tangible and very uh, very just kind of real. God sometimes can seem very unreal and very far away. And it's hard to find him. It's hard to perceive him. Sometimes it feels impossible to do so. And that again, that's something I think everyone of any faith in any religion has struggled with. Believe, you know, not just the whole believing in God, but trying to find him, trying to hear from him, trying to I guess prove his existence so to speak. And the answer actually comes in the last few parts of that verse. Is if you really want to find him, then you you stay basically you stay on him. You hold fast to him. You obey his commandments, and you treasure them and you keep them so close to you that he is more important to you and his words are more important to you than even food itself. It, it is a faith thing. If you want to find him, you're going to have to seek for him. If you want the door open, you're going to have to knock. And if you have questions that need answers, you're going to need to ask. And that was a backhanded reference to the seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened, ask and it will be given to you. And that is more scripture in the New Testament that Jesus said. Feel free to Google that for yourself and look that up. If you want to find God, then you have to pursue him. You have to, you have to care. You have to really, really want him even more and since he said food something you need to live what i would say and go so far as to say is you want you need to want god more than life itself he is more important to you than even your own life and at that point you will find him that sounds almost like something a sage would say or some i don't know just like some guy like somewhere on a mountain speaking in riddles and i'm not trying to speak in riddles but it has been my personal experience having been a christian for over 20 years at this point i'm much closer to him now than i was when i first became a christian and it's been a continual seeking a continual believing a continual drawing closer to him and now i am at a point where i see prayers answered i hear his voice i perceive his will and his calling in my life that's not something even every Christian can say. And the honest truth is not every Christian really, truly seeks after him. I have sought after him, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I want to let you know, if you seek him, you really will find him. If you knock, if you knock long enough and loud enough, that door will open. And if you ask, it will be given to you. He wasn't, Jesus wasn't lying, and he wasn't making it up. 
And when, the, when Christians say, you know, you, that line about you just have to believe, well, no, I think, I think it's good to have some evidence. I think it's good to know why you believe what you believe. But the essential part of believing never goes away. That faith has got to stay strong, and you've got to work at strengthening it by staying in the Word of God, by staying in prayer, by doing some praise and worship, not just listening to, you know, I say video game soundtracks because that's the kind of music that isn't Christian that I listen to. But yeah, listen to stuff that actually encourages you to worship God, to get close to God. So there, there's the conundrum, trying to find God, and there's the answer, being devoted and obedient to Him. Again, I'm not trying to sound like a scholar, not trying to sound like a hermit on a mountain, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I just want to say that I'm with Job. I found that answer. It is legit. But you don't get it immediately. You really have to want it, and you really have to pursue it, even when it seems close to impossible to do so. It's not an easy calling, but it is worth it. It's worth doing. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.